and welcome to I'm a Celebrity South Africa, the podcast with myself, 2022 contestant, came fifth, or as I like to call it, two nights before the end. It's me, Sean Walsh, joined by Queen of the Jungle from 2016. It is Scarlett Moffat. Thank you very much for that lovely introduction. Yeah, you nearly made it to the end. You did the cycle, didn't you? No, I didn't do the cyclone. Oh, sorry, God, God, I dare God. you. And you yeah. knew and you no. knew I didn't do the cyclone. You just wanted to rub that bacon <laughs> in my face. For some reason I can vaguely remember you wearing lycra. And I assumed that it was in the no. cyclone. No, that's your dreams. You're getting confused. Reality you know, with your dreams. You know what, John? As a rap party at the end of this podcast, I'm going to put some plastic sheeting down in my garden and wet it and we'll have our very own podcast cyclone. That is very, very kind of you. I very much look forward to that. But first, <laughs> can we just, before we crack on with uh, this fantastic uh, episode, episode three, left on a cliffhanger can you just explain what on earth are these glasses on your head blue rims kind of white what's that marshmallow on the top what, what's going on here little flowers i am channeling my inner Gillian mckeith because i just thought that she looked wonderful well you look wonderful but you look like you've been on a night out with sean Ryder as well that's never a bad thing it well i don't know if that's a good or a bad thing Scarlet Moffat in sunglasses. What more do you people want? We've watched three episodes now. They've all been amazing. Would you do it again? Are you watching that and thinking, I want to get back in there? In all honesty, uh, no. <laughs> no, I wouldn't. But only because, no. only because then I wouldn't get... You won! You won and you wouldn't go back in. Because then I wouldn't get to do the I'm a Celebrity South Africa podcast with you, would I? That's why. Oh, very good save. Very good save. I'd go straight back in there. Would you? In there. I feel like maybe this is going to sound really thin. They would, it would have to be for quite a bit of money. <laughs> <laughs> because, like, I just feel like... As much like we've experienced oh. it, <laughs> so, I've changed so much. <laughs> this is awful. This is the, the poison of showbiz. Look at her. She wins the jungle. I'm not going back there. I'm not using no long drop. I just get unbelievable. I, I, get I host the, the shows out. now. Oh. If Ant and Deck want to move aside. I'm coming in. <laughs> you know, that's what we left on, isn't it? That cliffhanger of, oh, Toph having to decide who is going to be exiled to the Savannah Scrub. I I do not envy her at yeah. all. Because uh, it's, you know, that, they, they, it's the, that suddenly, now you're digging into, like, the politics of the group. What do, what's, what's she going to do? What do you think she's going to do? Who do you think she's going to go with? Well, I feel like Toph's very diplomatic. She's into her politics. We know that about her. She she's, loves her politics. But she's also very kind. And I can't yeah. imagine her wanting to upset anyone. So part of us was thinking, is she going to choose a Mia? Because they're already friends. But then I thought, oh, I hope she doesn't. Because he fought her corner of her coming into the camp. And he won rock, paper, scissors to make she was she definitely got in but i felt like the cliffhanger ended where she looked like she was going to say f so i think she's either going to choose phil or fatima that's my prediction if i was in now there's no way i'd be choosing phil to leave because I, I want to listen to phil and sean talk they sound like two <laughs> Like old geezers in a lock in in a pub. Yeah. Just talking about the good old days. <laughs> the good old days. Like proper the yes, in workers and that. They are anti, they proper lads, lads. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah. I think you're right. I think, but I think you're absolutely right. I think she'll play the card of Amir can handle it. He's my friend. I know he's not going to take it personally, but, you know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't like being selected. I, d I know that. I, I would not want to go to the savannah. When Helen said to Toph, like, no one's going to take it personally, and Toph was like, they are, though. And she's right. Like, you can't help but in them circumstances feel like it's a personal attack on your personality. 
Absolutely. You're going to be go, going over your head. What did I say wrong? What have I done to annoy her that she's chosen me? That's what happens in I'm a Celebrity. It sends you mad. The fact that it was called the dreaded drain, it, it probably would have took me a good 15 minutes to coax myself into actually going down in the drain. But she just like, she was smiling. She was like, yeah, it's good to be back. Oh, like, come on, you've, we you've weeded a drain before. I'm not I weeding can tell it. You've it. definitely been be behind, look, between, you've been, you've been behind between two cars having a wee in a drain. I haven't. I haven't. I'm quite superstitious. I don't step over a drain, actually. So I, I keep away from drains. I watch a lot of Super Mario. Basically, I, know I couldn't that have got that happen. any more wrong. Yeah, no, I've not done that. Just because I'm from the north, Sean. <laughs> that is what I did. I genuinely, that is what I did there. It's because you're wearing those glasses. You look like you've been on a night out with Sean Ryder. Oh, I'm, I'm channeling my inner Gillian oh. McKeith. <laughs> Can I just say is that? Oh, is that what it is? That's what it is. Top on that tile. You know when she was sort of just like chilling in that bit of water and then the whole thing just shot her down like a few metres? Amazing. It was like right at Alton Towers. I actually gasped. I was like, oh! Yeah. It was... And then the, 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 the lizard thing dropped down in with her. That was intense. And there was and she piles. Pull, she had to pull all that... The fat. But, yeah. You see, I, she, she put out all the fat. That was Sean Ryder's arteries in the 90s. <laughs> Is that where they got all that from? <laughs> I just felt Fred because it looked really exhausting like it actually looked hard work it looked like a workout and i actually think they chose the best person to go in because Toff's only like she's Absolutely. strong but dinky and, and i felt like some of the holes were actually like really small what she had to what she had to go through do you know what it brought back flashbacks for me the creepy crawlies I just suddenly was watching it and remembered, oh my god, the creepy crawlies, and they would they would get stuck on your do you remember on your neck, the back of your neck. Oh, and and it got to the point like where remember, I'd wake up, I'd wake up in the morning, the and it'd be there. there, and like you'd get the point where you would know the smells of certain insects. Like that's the thing; they've all been away for so long. Like Toff was in like 2017. It's been a long time because so it sounds stupid, but when you're in there, immersed in jungle life, you sort of get a immune to the bugs like it doesn't make them any less creepy but you you, you walk to a, a trial and you can go you sniff and you think that smells like cockroaches because each insect had like a distinct oh. smell and you just so, know you'd be that, like oh <laughs> i didn't know that the insects stank I That's... know that sounds obvious, but I didn't. I've never because you're never you're never normally getting them. It's such a high quantity, and suddenly when they chuck them all on you, they uh, they absolutely reek. It sort of smells like a mixture between urine and like if you've left your clothes in the closet for a long time, like damp urine. I can't. I can't better that. You're absolutely spot on. Your apps, that is exact that is exactly what it is. Back in Savannah Scrubs, like Miley and Clark and Andy looked like they'd been trying to just light a fire for like the whole duration of the day. Like oh. I just I just felt for them. But I I I never worked out how to light the fire, did you? No, I didn't. I didn't I didn't bother doing that. Larry Lamb did it all the time and then it just sort of never went out. So someone must have been manning it, but I yeah, I don't, I don't think. Yeah, I don't think it was just kept alight for the entire <laughs> month. There was someone doing that for you. You just going. This jungle's very good. The central heating they put in here, wonderful. <laughs> no, I um, I actually tried. Uh, you know, because as as it goes on, as you very well know, winning it, you know, the numbers go down. Well, suddenly, you know, more people have to take on more responsibilities. And I remember yeah. towards the end, I'm starting to think, well, hang on, look, this isn't fair. Everyone's doing something. I need to kind of get involved now because it's not fair, right? And um, the, they tried to show me how to make the fire, and I couldn't. And then so they st they started a li started a little bit, and then you know you have to blow on it. Yeah. You know you have to blow on it like that. So I <laughs> I I just blew too hard, and I just blew ash in everyone's faces, and everyone was breathing in the ash. 
<laughs> was, I mean, it was an absolute disaster. It's a good way to never be asked to do a job again, though. Just do it wrong. <laughs> that is what I was going for. <laughs> just let me, just let me do the the long, the long drop. That's all I want to do. Like, uh, well, speaking of long drop, Gillian McKeith. I just, honestly, again, this was the highlight of the whole episode for me. Was her. Coming down, looking like an Elton John tribute in them wonderful glasses, telling people how to basically yeah. aim at the toilet. I feel like we need a toilet talk. A toilet talk. <laughs> oh, Gillian, come on. Go on, hit me. I need this. I need this. A long drop lecture. Oh. Every time we go in there, there's whittles literally everywhere, like all around the edge. I'm I've seen to, it too. I'm having to clean up whittles of people I don't even know. What did she call it? The Whid Whiddler? Who's the Whiddler? Do you know what? That is like, and I only know this because I did English literature. That is actually in the Oxford Dictionary. That is a proper... I thought she'd just, like, use a little pig term. Yeah, like, oh, you little whittler. But no, it, it's actually, like, a proper proper full word that they would... Act, like, Carol would have accepted that on Countdown for an actual real-life word. Who do you think uh, is the culprit? Is, did you are, you are you looking at because it's the guys? Are you looking at the guys? It's one of the guys yeah. and thinking it's definitely him. He's the whittler. I know. I feel like Sean protected too much. I feel like the fact that he said multiple times it's not me um, probably means it is him. Because I can imagine him going in there and just sort of being half asleep and thinking it is what it is. Good luck. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> it is what it is. I'm surprised he's actually going in the long drop and not just doing it up a tree. <laughs> ah, don't worry about it, boys. <laughs> it's good. It's good for the earth. It's good for the soil. It's obviously it's not it's not Paul Burrell. There's no way because as well you know that he he I think he would dab the end of his genitalia with a leaf to make sure there was no dripping. Yeah, I think he would. Can I just say as well, though? Gillian McKeith, right, as much as it looks like she's just having a go, yeah. people, I must admit, what you don't see about the long drop is it's made of, like, this weird soft wood and the wee actually, like, absorbs in the wood and no-one wants a soggy yes, bottom. Like, it, it doesn't does. even matter if you, if you oh. wipe it with tissue. Like, it's still damp oh. and, and, and you just don't oh, want... It yeah, you don't want to be sat feeling damp wood knowing you're basically sat on someone else's pee it's it's not great yes, no, it was all, and you would just it would get to the point as the, as the days went on where you would walk there and you'd pull back the curtain it would just be flies like <laughs> night clubbing having the absolute time of their life there's been no people in this jungle and then suddenly there's like this nightclub and they're just like, have a look at it. <laughs> Get a bit of that juice, boy. Sorry, again, too graphic. Can I tell, can I, I, I need to tell you something and you have to be honest with me. Okay. If I'm going to be honest with you, you have to be honest with yeah. me. Yeah. Let me know if you did this. I would sometimes sneak to what was then the Dunny and is now the long drop. I would sneak to the long drop and I, I would go there to fart. <laughs> Would you? Did you not do that? No, nah, I just did it. I just, like, I just was like, we've, what? Got, we've got to live together. You're an animal. Yeah, I wouldn't do it like next to people. I'd like just sort of just pretend to have a little walk and look at one of the trees or something, and then just yeah, just be like do do do. <laughs> but I wouldn't walk all the way to the dunny. It was a trek. I'm not I'm, I'm keeping the energy. I was keeping the energy for trials and challenges. <laughs> not for fats. <laughs> Do you know what's one of my favourite things about doing I'm a Celeb was you get to find out about everyone's different roles, you know, in what they do outside in the real world. And in episode three, we got to find out about Paul Burrell and what he would do as a butler for the royals. Well, I reckon I could listen to him all day because I I am a proper royalist. Like I yeah. really love the royals, and I I find their whole just existence very fascinating. And like I was shocked at how shocked other people were that the royals don't run their own baths. Like I never expected them to like to go and pop the tap on. Do you know what I mean? Like I just couldn't picture it in the head. Of course they do. Exactly. Of course they don't. I I I hope King Charles. 
I hope he uses his own bath bombs, though. Yeah, they'll show him, like, a little menu. Yeah. And they'll be like, sir, which one would you like to do? And they'll be like, bubble gum, please. And then they just pop it in and let it fizzle away for him. Do you know what? I do think the Royals would have a bath board. Because I feel like that's quite, like, a fancy thing to have, isn't it? And, and I reckon, like, now, if Paul was working for them, he'd probably lay out, like, a little cup of tea, a couple of digest chocolate digestives and a nice little Kindle on the side for the king to just stalk and have a read. Oh, oh I'd love that. I'd love a butler. Would you love a butler? Have you got... Actually, what would you get your butler to do? Well, I once read a thing where um, the person who styles the Queen said that she had, like, a member yeah. of staff break all of her shoes in for her so that they were comfy. And, like, normally I just stick a couple... Oh, very nice. Yeah, I stick a couple of potatoes in my shoes so that it breaks them out a bit, so it makes them, like, a bit looser. And I just think that would be fab to have someone come round and just wear my shoes in for us. Do you know what I'd like? Which I'd really like a butler for. You know, you ever you ever watching telly? I know you love telly, you're watching telly. And you've got your hand in a really comfortable place. But then you have to change the channel. Yeah. And when you change the channel, you, you can't quite put your hand back where it was. You know? You try to find where that really cozy place where your hand was. I, I'd want the butler to have to find where the cozy place my hand was. <laughs> I thought you were going to say, get them to change the channel. No, absolutely not. I'll do that, thank you. What am I paying you for? <laughs> Find the place in between my thighs. It's normally in between the thighs. I'm not being dirty. <laughs> Are you all right? Yeah, I just, I just wasn't expecting you to say that, that's all. What did he do? Because he's so, he's always screaming. What did he do if, like, a royal, you know, if the, he didn't realise the Queen was in the room and she just went... Butler Barrow? Oh! <laughs> oh, my God, who was that? Who was that? Oh, Lizzie, sorry, Lizzie. He sounded like Michael McIntyre. <laughs> Scarlet Moffat. We've got Scarlet Moffat here. We love the Moffat. We love the Moffat. <laughs> so, right, before we go, I just want to have a quick talk, just a quick talk about, uh, just a mention, really, for Sean's snoring. Another day in paradise. Now that was unbearable. Did you have any snorers? Yeah, me. Are you joking? No, you? Yeah, like there was loads of us, like an ass snore as well. So I just think you you can't judge people like as much as it's annoying. Like you can't help. There's nothing you can do if you're a snorer. You're a snorer. That's it. Kind of, it was like a chainsaw going off. The thing is, would you... I can't believe that guy used to be a singer. Would you be the want to be the person that woke him up from his slumber, though? Because I definitely wouldn't. I'd let him oh. all day. <laughs> you are absolutely right. I used to get woken up by boy, boy George meditating. I loved it. That was really cool. Waking up every morning to boy george meditating was hilarious great way to start the day i recommend it to anyone he should be an alarm clock yeah you should have got him to record a little bit and then and then just yeah have that as your alarm that would have been very soothing it would have reminded you of happy times i'll give him a text i'll see if he'll do it <laughs> <laughs> do, you, do you have a WhatsApp group then or not? Oh, I'm loving this podcast. Do you, do you have a WhatsApp group? What'd you say? Sorry. Do you have a WhatsApp group? We do a we do have a WhatsApp group, and it's but it's mainly used for happy birthdays. Oh, okay then. It's one of the. Well, that's still nice, isn't it? I like how yours. Are, what do you mean? It's one of those. It's dwindled, and it quite quickly. Like you were already in there last year, John. <laughs> Mine was in 2016. We still all speak to each other. Like I don't, I don't mean to be harsh, but that's that's quite disappointing. That's John. <laughs> that's that's really disappointing. <laughs> Oh, my God. Oh, Sean, I love this podcast, you know. <laughs> and, and, and well, the I, big one is Matt, Matt Hancock. <laughs> Matt Hancock isn't even in the main one. Is he? Oh, poor Matt, man. 
<laughs> is he not? No, they give something every time you look up a story in the news. It's someone else from the from our camp going. No, he's not in the pots. <laughs> it's so bad. Oh, but well, he knows that you have that as well. That like, is oh. Oh, <laughs> You've got to laugh, I mean, yeah, there's nothing else that you can't I, do, didn't, I didn't make the group. Oh. I'm not the administrator. You're not admin. As long as you're not admin, you, you can't, it's not your responsibility, exactly. do you know what I mean? I feel My like, hands are clean. I feel like Gillian McKeith will definitely be the admin of this WhatsApp group, of the Legends WhatsApp group. I can imagine Gillian McKeith oh, yes. being like the one that's in charge. Do you know what, Sean? I, I probably love doing this podcast with you. Like, I, it, it fills my heart with warmth. Fills my legs with warmth as well. <laughs> now, I just want to say thank you so much for joining us for a little debrief today and every day. I literally cannot wait for the next I'm a Celebrity South Africa, the podcast, because I need to know who goes to Savannah Scrub. I feel like Sean's regretting saying that I fill his legs with warmth. It, it ma That makes it sound like I, I make you wee yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I was just trying to throw you off. I want to know who goes to Savannah Scrubs. I cannot wait now. I think it's going to be Amir Khan. But only one way to find out, of course, watch on ITV and then get this podcast for a full rundown of what we thought of the episode. If you subscribe, it is, of course, totally free. Chatting. And that means a new episode will appear straight in your inbox. Now... We all love a hashtag. Of course we do. And remember to use ours if you want to give us any feedback on Twitter. Not any feedback, actually. Just keep it positive, please. It's hashtag I'm a celebrity podcast. And if you're not watching this, but simply listening, remember, you can watch it. You can see Scarlett with your own eyes. See her in her ridiculous Elton John sunglasses. If you search I'm a celebrity South Africa, the podcast on YouTube and trust me you are not going to want to miss that in HD thanks <laughs>